the genuine article. Discussion and commentary based on articles from Jack. Hello, I'm Tony DeMaria, the editor of Jack, here with an issue of Inside Jack. And for this show, we're going to do something different. We're not really going to deal with a specific manuscript from Jack. We're going to talk about a topic, and that topic is translational research. And uh, as someone recently said in, in an article in JAMA, uh, there are very many differences in the definition of translational research, but everyone seems to think that it's important. And here with me to discuss this is Dr. Nabil Deeb, and Dr. Deeb is the president of the International Society for Cardiac Translational Research, and uh, in fact, that society has joined with the American College of Cardiology to really focus on advancing uh, translational research in cardiology. So, Nabil, tell me, in the spectrum of translational research, where do you think uh, there's, there's the greatest hold, the greatest need for additional work? Well, uh, Dr. DeMaria, it's a, a clearly uh, uh, the major problem right now in advancing science and taking a concept, a new concept, a new innovation to patients. Uh, as we all know, it is a very slow process and uh, with overwhelming cost. Uh, and that's why, in matter of fact, uh, even many of the uh, new technology uh, and U.S. research is done outside of the United States. Uh, uh, not because necessarily uh, better equality, but because things can be done. Uh, however, I think what we really should be aiming, if you want to take a concept to a patient in an expedite manner, I think we should have a infrastructures uh, that can deal with the product development, uh, preclinical research, uh, knowledge about the animal model, and, and uh, some knowledge about the phase one and two clinical trial and where the technology is going to be applied. So uh, I, in, in hearing you speak, Nabil, I've, I've really been impressed that there's a need for cardiologists to have more knowledge about the process of actually uh, going through the regulatory hurdles uh, to get a new technology uh, from the discovery phase all the way to the bedside. And uh, I, I, I think that's, that's an area where your society particularly is going to focus. Is that correct? And that's correct. Uh, as you know, in medical school and during our training as a, a, a residence and fellow, uh, we never been exposed to the regulatory path. We never, be, we never concentrated on the animal model and the toxicology study that re are required uh, for a new product to take it to a patient. Uh, this is a, a truly gap exists today, and I do believe that's why the uh, a process to take a concept to patient is slow. And because of that slow process and lack of knowledge of that structure and expertise, that leading to uh, overwhelming costs and to, for the product to get to patient. So I think if we have the right infrastructure, which is we are trying to do now the, uh, with the society, the, the, we have a great committee and faculty uh, uh, in the International Society uh, for Cardiovascular Translational Research, they are committed uh, to uh, draw a path for product development, animal model, understanding the regulatory path uh, with FDA involvement to expedite that science to the patients. Yeah, and, and I think the collaboration between uh, uh, the ISCTR uh, Translational Research Society and American College of Cardiology will come together and, and, and really move translational research forward. Thanks for bringing us up to date. For Inside Jack, I'm Tony DeMaria.